Okay, what is up, everybody? Today we have the Nora champion reveal. Let me just make sure it sounds right. Oh, that is loud. I'm sorry. Hold on. Um. So uh, this is the first uh, Legends of Terror exclusive champ. Let's play I like there. Nora's portaling home. So uh, she's a two mana one two elusive that when you next strike. You put a mysterious portal randomly in the top four cards of your deck. And the mysterious portal is summon a random two or three cost follower. If your board is full, create a zero cost fleeing copy in hand instead. Uh, interesting. Uh, and you level up when you summon six plus created allies. So the thing is, like, if you're level up strong, but we'll see, I guess, in a bit. I'll, I'll talk about it later. But you can probably level up her up very easily with some, with like multiple regions. As always, we'll go through the cards afterwards. Yumi? Okay. So, I believe in lore, Nora's like... Are, are they friends? I actually don't know the lore about Nora. But I know like, a lot of people predicted Nora. I was like, who the heck's Nora? Okay. I mean, that's fine. The Nora is going to survive anyway, so not sure why I had to poke stick that, but. Portapalooza. Well, again, yeah, we'll look at all the cards after. Well, aren't you the cutest thing of a D I ever did see? Off we go! So, um. I have seen some things about the portal concerns, like what if Solitary Monk is in the pool and she bounces her whole board back, that would be like really bad. This is, this is terrible. Not sure how they're going to handle it, but yeah. Portals, portals, up and down and all around. Your mysterious portals now summon 4, 5, 6, or 7 cost followers instead. Wait, wait, this is broken. Like, you're just high rolling a, a 7 cost follower. Like, this will, like, break, break games, like, major high rolls, you know? Um, you do need her to next strike, so. Yeah, like, I guess you just Mystic shot her on sight. Like, she did. This is, like, really scary, honestly. Did this. This is just really scary. I, I don't... Yeah, and I like... I don't think a lot of people realize how easy it will be to level her up. Like, just in Battle City alone, you could like do the Owl Cats. There's like a lot of... You can have, um... Face Sprout. It's another one. Like... And that's only in her region. You can... We can do like a lot more, dude. Like, PNZ has Bo Boom Boom Boom's Flame Chompers. Like, Bilgewater has Tentacles. And, um... Like, if you play with Lao, yeah, you have the Tentacles. You have... I think it works with Kegs. I think it works with Kegs. So you have Kegs. You have... You have Mirai Warden. You have the Island Navigator. Oh my god, wait, Bilgewater might be actually really good. Um... Uh, mysterious portal. Okay, we know what that does. Okay, the the thing about Nora is she has to be on board, right? So for her effect, after she's leveled up, she has to be on board. So your deck also has to be able to protect Nora. Like you can't just build fully around Nora. Like if you like fully built around Zoe, it's not the best, but you can like you can use Zoe as a win con because. She, like, even if she dies, her level up effect stays, right? Nora doesn't. I think this is a big deal. Um, that's her spell. Plant two mysterious portals randomly in the top four. Cards of protect draw one. This is probably not that good un unless Nora's leveled up. Um, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. For each ally, plant a mysterious portal and three chimes. The top cards of your deck. And plant a flash part. So th this just plants, like... Every like trap and stuff. 
I'm not sure if this is good at actually see play, it probably won't. Like, yeah, it probably just won't. Um, Junk Construct. Last Breath, Plant a Mysterious Portal in the randomly in the top four cards. Okay, that's a pretty good card for Nora decks, to be honest. Uh, Living Library. When I'm summoned, if one of your traps or boons has activated this round, draw one. This is pretty big. Okay, uh, yeah, Living Library, pretty good. I think it will definitely see play. It's a draw engine for 5 mana. And it's elusive too, which is pretty nice. It, it'll probably honestly see play in Caitlyn Teemo decks as well. It is pretty cool. Um, Magical Journey. Plant a mysterious portal randomly in the top four cards of your deck and plant three chimes on random cards in your deck. Okay, so this is like kind of a bard, bard buff a bit. Um, yeah. The Team Maker. Uh, actually, it's not really that much of a bard buff. It's like, eh. It's a good bard card, but it's also a good Nora card. Not sure how much play we'll see in bard decks, but we'll probably see play in Nora decks. Um, the Team Maker. When I'm summoned, plant a mysterious portal randomly in the top four cards of your deck. Mm, 3 1 for 3 not mana. 3 1 for 3 mana is not great, but it's okay. And the effect, I mean, honestly, I don't know how much you need these this Mysterious Portals package. Uh, kind of just need Nora on board, and then you, you need to level her up with, like, other units. Realm's Caretaker, each round, the first time one of your traps or boons activate, give all allies plus one, plus one at impact. Uh, so this is a kind of an endgame card. I mean, if you can consistently get like a lot of traps or boons, like this can be a game finisher, but I don't know how good it'll be. Uh, let's go to your entire AR. Probably should not have looked that up, but I'll go back to make sure I didn't see anything dangerous. Uh, new cards. Where are they? New cards. Um, Origami Slicer. Okay, uh, I don't think this will be that played. It's okay. Uh, sorry, hold on. I have to, like, sneeze. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Anyways. Um, Mecha Pulverizer. You play discard one. This could see play in discard decks, maybe. Back Alley Bar. What is new cards? The cards that Back Alley creates. That Back Alley Barkeep creates. Eh, I mean, it's probably a meme deck. Um, as Horasi. Okay, I, I like these cards because, like, they're, like, decent early game. Um, They're decent early game, and they can be played as late game card, too. The problem is, this doesn't have overwhelm or like a really really good keyword. It just has spell shield, which is good, but it's not like amazing. But yeah, I don't think this will see too much play. I don't think it's that good of a card, but I could be proven wrong. Uh, obliterate an ally and create a corrupted form with its stats. Uh, this is really hard to use. What do you want to obliterate your own ally for? I don't. I don't think. Yeah, I, I'm predicting this card sucks. Uh, and then you went through Master Yi. Oh, that's all. That's all. I thought there was more. Yeah, uh, that's it. I think Nora will be very high rolly. Uh, if he can make a consistent deck where she's super high rolly, then, or like, high roll games just, like, auto win, I don't think she's going to be fun to play against, but, you know, people will like playing against her for, like, the first couple weeks and then she'll get tired if she's a tier one so i hope she's not tier one this is a champ that's super fun and i like the design as long as she's not tier one that's all i ask just make her tier two like it's playable it's it's okay um if she's tier one just nerf her down a bit 
and we'll all be good. Anyways, uh, I'm planning to like release seasonal prep guides. I don't like doing deck guides because then I have to kind of sack my ladder OP to learn the deck. And I don't like doing that when seasonal qualifications is around the corner. So uh, no more deck guides until the new patch. But yeah, uh, I'm probably going to do a seasonal prep guide. Let me know if you guys want that and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.